Well, I think that these measures are uh, important and necessary in the case of Japan, given the risks to the economic and financial uh, outlook. One thing I would say is that these are necessary measures, but they have to be embedded uh, into a more ambitious strategy of fiscal and structural reforms in order to enhance the confidence of Japanese consumers and investors and reflating and getting the economy back, uh, back on track. Now, the IMF says that these plans to exit unconventional monetary and financial policies may need to be delayed until uh, the financial situation is a little bit more robust. What about talk that with the BOJ action, it looks like the Fed might follow in more quantitative easing, maybe the ECB as well. Do you think this is a policy mistake considering the economic environment that the, the world is seeing right now? Well, I think that uh, different areas are in different uh, circumstances. And what we say in the Global Financial Stability Report is that uh, central banks will have to consider very cautiously their exit strategies depending on uh, local economic and financial conditions. For example, in the case of the United States, a number of the measures that the Fed had uh, put in place to support the financial system are no longer needed. So the Fed is right in terms of having exited from those measures, but also saying, wait a minute, if there is a need, we will uh, come back and, and, you know, there is an option of doing quantitative uh, 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 easing. Um, in the case of, um, or credit easing, in the case of the European Central Bank, they have scaled back some of the support that they were providing to the banking system. But again, I think that all options remain open for the time being. Okay, Jose. Now, the global financial system it remains the Achilles heel of the global economic recovery, according to the International Monetary Fund. What about the risk of double dip, Jose? You talked about the housing market at risk of the big double D, as we call it, the double dip risk. What does that mean for the rest of the world in the U.S. economy? That, uh, you cannot uh, exclude that there can be a double dip, but this is not the central scenario that we have. Uh, I think that um, in the case of the United States, uh, uh, you know, uh, the double dip, double dip uh, could come from a situation where the housing market takes a double dip, and that takes a big toll on the economy. Uh, and this is why, again, I think that the uh, uh, policies that the Federal Reserve is undertaking right now are a good insurance against the double dip happening in the uh, U.S. It's not something that can be ruled out, but I think that the probability is quite small.